Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to SpurRadio.com as we broadcast live out of Young's Western Wear, DiscountWesternWear.com here in the heart city of Valentine, Nebraska. It's time for your Talking with Tana show with three-time National Finals Rodeo Qualifier, Tana Papano. Tana, how are you? All right. Well, I'm going to get things tuned in here a little bit. It's been a couple of weeks. Uh, how's that sound for you right there? Oh, sounds great. Okay. Well, again, Tana, it uh, looks like uh, you've been pretty busy out there, but uh, I want to get into that. But first, I want to talk about today's sponsors, and that is Max Sunglasses. For more information on Max Sunglasses, make sure you go to their website at maxsunglasses.com. And also uh, Equipride. Equipride is a proud sponsor of Tana Papano and the Talking with Tana show. For more information on them, you can go to Equipride.biz. Well, Tana, it's been a couple weeks since we talked. Uh, let's try and get caught up. Uh, sounds like you had uh, a great run down in Pretty Prairie and out in Cheyenne. Yeah, the last two weeks of... If we'd had the whole year like the last two weeks, we'd be on top of the world. But um, I'm just glad to get it when it came. Yeah, there you it go. It goes to show you, you just got to keep on keeping on and have faith in God and faith in what you're doing, and and it'll come it'll come around. That's right. Well, let's start first uh, with Pretty Prairie. I, from what I hear, it sounds like you won that one. Oh, I ended up second at Pretty Prairie. Second I, at Pretty Prairie. Um, we ran in the slack and was leading it till the last night, and my good friend Jean Winters um, had a really nice run, and she ended up winning the rodeo, and we were second, so I'll take that any day. All right. And we went from Pretty Prairie to Woodward that night, and um, I think I ended up fourth at Woodward, so... That was good. Those are set circuit money, and that's always appreciated. And then we oh, got back in the truck and went back towards Cheyenne. Marty roped the next day at Cheyenne and didn't have much luck at Cheyenne. But uh, then I went back um, to Nampa, Idaho, and uh, had a really nice run over there. Best run I've had um, in a long time, I guess, or at least it clocked good. So um, we ended up winning the Snake River Stampede, and that was good for 9000 So that put us back up here in the hunt where we could throw rocks at the girls in the front. Yeah, so, that's, pretty that's pretty cool. cool. You know, I was uh, checking uh, the PRCA press release that I got last night, and according to it, you moved uh, up into the number 14 spot. Wow, well, you know, if the season was over right now, that'd be good. But uh, we still got a long ways to go, and... Uh, those standings are only good the first day of October and about the 15th of December. So yeah, exactly. I figure we need about 20000 more, and then we'll be good. Sure. So. Well, that goes, goes to show you, you know, last time we talked, I think uh, a couple of weeks ago, you were sitting in the, you know, in the 40s or somewhere in there, and two weeks goes by, and that tells you how quick things can change in the, in the world of rodeo. Now you're sitting up there in the 14th spot. That's right. So. There's a lot of good money in the... These good rodeos in the middle of the summer, Salinas, Cheyenne, Nampa. You know, we, we've been going to rodeo every day since the 1st of July. I think we've, you know, had about three days that we haven't been to rodeos. So we put a lot of runs in in G July, and this is by far my best July ever um, as far as going to the rodeos. Last year, my year kind of ended on the 5th of July. We had a good run up until then, and Amigo pulled a suspensory and, he was done, and then Goose kind of got hurt on me, and that's what I've been telling people. I said, my year ended last year at the 5th of July. This year, mine's going to start the 5th of July, and, and that's what we've done. So uh, There you go. Uh, well, quickly here, update us. Uh, I know Amigo must be feeling good and running well. Uh, tell us a little bit about Amigo. Oh, he's just been feeling good, and like you said, he's been running well. He's um, We're back in the hot part of the world again, so we're uh, feeding him a lot of Equipride, extra electrolytes, you know, making sure they drink. you got to make sure your horses drink a lot, you know, when it's 100 degrees and um, keep them cooled off and in the shade. And it's tough when you have to make this many runs, you know, in this hot of weather. But um, he's tough, and, uh, you know, I was real proud of him. He made the short round at Cheyenne, and we weren't the oldest horse in the short round. Uh, Bubba, Kelly Mabin went, made the short round. Bubba likes that pin at Cheyenne, and she did good. Uh, neither one of us fared as good in the short round as what we would have liked, but 
hats off to Kim Schultz. She had a nice rodeo, and she won 15000 I think, at Cheyenne. So good for her. She's been doing good. Well, great. Well, again, I want to jump in and thank today's sponsors. Today's sponsor is Equipride, a unique vitamin mineral and digestive aid with three classes of prebiotics customized to complete forages, appearance, performance, and immune function through better feed utilization. And that's for all classes of horses. And then also Max Sunglasses. For more information on Max Sunglasses, you can go to the website at maxsunglasses.com. I'm going to play a quick video here. Tana, you may not be here, hear the video here, but I'm going to play a commercial, and then we'll be right back with you here on the Talking with Tana show. Okay. With a large selection of styles, Max, the original HD sunglasses, is taking HD polarization to the next level. Most glasses darken and distort, but Max HD polarized lenses filter only the harmful light, allowing you to see the world. Oh, wow. And your fish. These are really good. In true high-definition clarity. You know... If I didn't have these max glasses on right now, I wouldn't be able to see that fish down there. The polarized system they use is incredible. There's no better value in sunglasses. Call, go online, or ask your local retailer. With a well, again, that was Max Sunglasses. For more information on them, you go to Max Sunglasses. Uh, dot com and also when you go there make sure you uh, put in the promo code tana and uh, they'll be donating uh, two dollars to the cowboy bistro well tana you've had a busy few weeks and uh, you know i've been gone and and i can relate to the heat i was down there we had our reunion weekend last week and from wednesday till sunday i was setting up for a big dance uh we played for a dance there and then i had to tear down on sunday i got a lot of sun and uh, it was about 100 and some degrees on that concrete, so I can relate to the heat. It's been hot out there. Yeah, uh, I've got my Mac sunglasses, raccoon sun tan on my face, and, uh, uh, you know, I got 96 in Cheyenne on Sunday, and we thought that was warm, but I was like, that's just a warm-up for the Kansas run here. It's supposed to set a new record here today in Dodge City, I guess, so that means... Up over 100 somewhere, you know, it gets to some point in time, and it's just hot, period. <laughs> yeah. I got back to town yesterday late afternoon, and it was 110 in that heat index here. Oh. I, was, I was ready to go back south. When I was down in February, though, it was even hotter, and the humidity down there just about uh, wasn't quite used to that. So it's I can imagine what this does for you guys, and especially the horses out there. you got to keep them hydrated and uh, make sure you keep all their electrolytes and everything, meet them, and keep them full of Equipride. You bet. All right. Yeah, that's, you know, you got to stop every couple hours and give them a drink of water when you're hauling like this and, you know, just keep them, keep them hydrated. That's when they go to pulling and tearing muscles and tying up. And, you know, it, it's just good stewardship on your part and taking care of those animals that take care of you. That's right. Well, uh, you had a busy run, but uh, you're out on the road again. I think you told me you're down in Dodge City, Kansas. Uh, what do you got coming up the rest of the week and uh, some part of next week? Uh, we'll go to Hill City tomorrow night. Um, we're in the last performance there at Hill City. Then we go to Sydney, Iowa for Thursday night. Um, come back to Phillipsburg, Kansas uh, on Friday night. And back here... Saturday morning, we'll make our first run Saturday morning, and hopefully we'll be in the perk again that night, and then the short round here at Dodge is on Sunday, so hopefully we'll get to make three trips here at Dodge, and then um, we actually get to go home. I haven't been home since the 1st of June, so we'll go home for a day or two, and uh, then we'll go to Sykeston on Tuesday for slack, come home, and... Um, Go to Coffeyville, Kansas, Wednesday, um, Ponca City, Thursday, Lawton, Friday, Lovington, New Mexico, Saturday, and then back to the cooler country, or at least we it ought to be, but I will go back to Caldwell, Idaho, and we're going to stay out in the northwest for a couple weeks, um, go to some rodeos out there. All right, cool. Well, I know it, you've been on a busy run, like you said, since June. Is uh, is August and uh, the first part of September, September just as busy, or does it slow down a little bit, or uh, how does that all play out for you? Uh, the first of August, I mean, well, this week, you know, it's busy. We've got, I don't even go to all the rodeos. Abilene also, Kansas also has a rodeo this week, and uh, you just can't fit them all in. And um, then next week is going to be just as busy, and the next, 
No, it doesn't really slow down in August either. Um, we'll go to four rodeos the week after that and three or four the next week, depending on what we can fit in, you know, depending on how you draw up. And then we're going to come back this way Labor Day probably and try to hit as many as we can, you know, that week. Right. Um, it really doesn't slow down till. I mean, it kind of slows down a little bit, you know, but... July and August, there, it, you can go somewhere just about every day, it seems like. And if, you know, this is when I've historically lost ground because my horse gets sore. And this year, he's 100%, and, and you know, we're seeing a lot of the other horses, you know, get sore and go down. And, you know, I feel bad for those girls. It, it's never fun to be going good, and then all of a sudden your horse gets hurt. But, uh Unfortunately, the rodeo is a tough sport on people and horses just because lots of different ground issues and, you know, good athletes, they try their heart out every time. And, you know, sometimes we try harder than our bodies allow us to. So That's right. Well, just like any sport, we've touched on it several times. These horses are athletes, and sometimes uh, you, you get a slight injury and, and you got to recoup and then uh, keep on going. Um, yep. So that's just that's just the way it works. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Yeah, something like that. I don't <laughs> know. Maybe we're just the silly ones out here, yeah. <laughs> running and driving in circles and running in circles. So, but hey, you can't beat the life. There's the best people in the world are rodeo people, and um, got good friends all across the country, and get to see you know God's cre- creation, you know, from Washington to Texas to Tennessee, and, you know, it's it's just beautiful the way, you know, you can take the land form and make different, make it all different, but all beautiful. That's right. Well, before I let you go, I know you've been traveling, you've been using Amigo. Uh, any update, or uh, is Goose back home recouping or working with him there, or how's Goose doing? Uh, he's just at home kickback. He's at home running the place right now. Nobody's at home. Well, Karen Brown, a good friend of mine, has been going the house and feeding and taking care of everything and i think deuce has thrown a couple shoes off and my father-in-law i think was taking him this morning to get shoes put back on him and so i don't know we'll probably ride him next week a little bit but uh the plans right now are to probably leave him home and just concentrate on what we've got and and go from there there you go well tana uh, i'm gonna thank you and let you get uh, going here today i appreciate you taking time out congratulations you've had a great couple weeks you're sitting in the top 15 keep bringing in some of that money and uh, you're well on your way to your fourth nfr i hope so all right we'll give it our best all right well i'm going to cut it. i'm going to figure uh, touch off on some sponsors if i could ho- have you hold on a couple minutes here tan i want to visit with you real quick and okay. uh, i'll be right with you all right well, everybody, that was your three-time national finals qualifier, Tana Papano, and uh, she joins us every Tuesday here on the Talking with Tana show. Of course, this, today's show is sponsored by Equipride, a unique vitamin, mineral, and digestive aid with three classes of prebiotics customized to complete forages, improve appearance, performance, and immune function through better feed utilization, and that is for all classes of horses. For more information on them, you can go to equipride.biz. And then I also want to thank Max Sunglasses. I'm going to reach around here and grab a pair of Max Sunglasses and show you. These here are the 5 O's. These here are one of their uh, uh, basic sunglasses, but uh, we're out of them. This is the only pair I got left, and we had several pair here. And as you can see from the rack here, folks, these have been a hot item. I'm putting in an order today because uh, we're pretty much the uh, last couple weeks since I've been gone. They've uh, cleaned out of the Max sunglasses. So get you a pair of these. These here that I'm showing are the 5 O's. And uh, you can go to maxsunglasses.com and get them. And I appreciate everybody joining us today here on the Talking with Tana show. Uh, we'll be back again next time right here on America's favorite online country radio station, spurradio.com.